So yeah, we're gonna play um, with the Chroma as well, by the way. How nice is that Chroma? But it kind of reminds me of the Championship skin. Do you know what I mean? It's like Championship and Freljord had a child. I guess at start with high win rate, you gain huge gains at first. It's kind of after the losses where it drops you immediately. Well, the thing is, because Tony, Tony Rell, my idol, he's made a lot of videos explaining MMR and how, like, it gets to a point where Riot expects you to have, like, a 60% win rate if you actually want to, you know, progressively climb. Because in my eyes, if you have, like, a 53% win rate or, or above 50% win rate, then you should climb, you know what I mean? But depends what MMR you're winning in. Uh, I think having that drastic of a change in masses is somewhat warranted. They want smurfs, challenges to quickly get through. And if you have a bit of a loss streak, you're most likely not a smurf. And that's actually somewhat your reload. I think I am a low masters player. I don't think I'm a mid masters player. Next season, I want to be a mid masters player. That's the aim. Hey, yo, what's good, guys? We currently have a goal at the moment to try and hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please do. Enjoy the video. And peace. Mate, they've got Yasuo Malphite. My eyes are bleached. Get that away from me. How am I expected to survive? Ooh. Mind if I do? Hey, Master Yi with the donation. Thank you very much, mate. I have to admit, when, it, when you get the passive on the queue, it's really satisfying. Like that little like pop up to show that I've got my queue available is really cool. He doesn't have his woodblock. Don't know why Thresh took it. He could have given that. And I think he knew he could have given that again. But you know what? Sharon's caring. He did do really well there. So, you know, I'll let, I'll let it slide. But I wasn't expecting him to do that. Good start, though. Can't believe Yasuo went um, E level 2 and then tried to all in versus Ash under my tower. That seemed a little bit wishful thinking. I was going to say, I thought someone was ganking. Wait, that went through his wind wall. Ah, no, I'm dead. That trade. Oh, I live? Oh, no, Lee. Wait, Yi followed? What the heck went on then? Yi followed me. I was not expecting... I thought I was safe. I thought I'd outplayed it. I wanted to trade for the uh, Tarik, but he started Flash. And then I saw the Lantern. I was like, oh, maybe I can survive here, actually. I think there's merit to learning more theoretically correct play considering better plays because usually Smurfs are what really challenge you in games if you play carry. I think it depends on your elo, doesn't it? Smurfs don't really bother me, but... I'm not at the ELO where it kind of does bother me, you know what I mean? Because there's not many people who are smurfing who have, like, low master MMR. Does that make sense? Like, pe most people who are smurfing are in, like, you know, the lower ranks, the, uh, the lower brackets, so it doesn't really affect me. But I remember when I was in the lower, like, the lower ranks, smurfing was my most hated thing when, when I was against people who smurf. And I very much had the mentality of whoever wins the game, it's because they had more smurfs than we did. You know what I mean? Or, or their smurf was better than our smurf. Or if we didn't have a smurf, then they have a smurf, and we don't have a smurf, so we lose. Oh my no. Yeah, I, I didn't understand anything you said. Ooh, my team though. Wait, never mind my team. Wait. Nah, it was close though. Nah, the thought was there though, man. The thought was there. I tried. Like, it was a good plan, mm. but the execution wasn't there, I think. He's just running at me. I'll fight. Whoa, Malphite is AP, I forgot. Camille, mate, Camille, triple kill. Triple kill Camille. Ooh. Don't wanna die. That was very, very high heart rate moment. Nice, Camille got Malphite as well. Let's go, that's huge, mate. Good shit, team. What do we think of the skin, guys? With the, This is with the Chroma, but this is with the Mythic Chroma. So this isn't the base one. The base one's red and pink. This one's like, yeah. Because they're making all of them like blue and white, aren't they? Looks nice. Do you think it's worth the it being a Mythic skin? 
Because I'm, I, I like it. Is it worth being a mythic skin? I don't know. But then what is the bar to be a mythic skin nowadays? Is it that high? Not really. Slightly basic to me, but it's all right. This is, yes, that's what I thought as well, you know? The color scheme itself looks sick, but everything else kind of blurs into itself. Yeah, I like the design of, like, the model looks really cool. In terms of like the sound effect on the autos, it's nice. It's very like liquidy to me, but I like it. I like the way the, I light up. Like when I, wait, let me show him. Ooh, wait, no, he's AP. I'm not gonna get to you in time, Thrash. I, I was not expecting him to just ult me. Forgot he was AP. I was gonna say, when I light up after getting my like four passive auto attacks, I like like that little, you know, thing. It's nice. The rest, it's just kind of basic. It's just kind of basic. Ash is based around crystals anyway. Do you know what I mean? Like, mate, my ult's literally called Enchanted Crystal Arrow, so it's a crystal skin. So everything just kind of, I know what you mean, it blends into each other. It's not really much different. It's kind of just a cool character model. I really like High Noon way too much to care for this skin. Yeah, I don't know. I like High Noon a lot as well. I agree with that. I think High Noon's probably her best skin. And obviously, like, Project's really good too. Legendary skin for an ADC is the best one. Like, it's the same with Jinx. Oh, it hit. Wait, it hit. It hit. My ult hit, right? My ult hit him, right? I didn't think it was going to hit him, but it did. I thought I completely whiffed it. Like mythics are worth it i have the jinx one no i like the chromas i mean the, that jinx chroma with the legendary skin is just so nice like the purple it's just so nice they, they really smashed it with that i'm glad they didn't make that blue do you know what i mean like they did with all the others and i like the idea of a mythic chroma because it changes the color of the projectiles you know what i mean if it didn't change the color mate if it didn't change the color of the projectiles i don't think you'd understand how pissed off i'd be oh i knew that was gonna happen as well now you know what i'm actually fine Okay, he had flash. If he didn't have flash, that would have been amazing. If he didn't have flash, I would have literally clapped my hands and said, these are your ass cheeks, Malphite. But he had flash. They have a Teemo, by the way. I've not seen Teemo in this game for about four months. At least, not longer than that, maybe three, four years. Who the fuck plays Teemo? Oh, damn good. I am not here for that. He's actually fucking... He's pissed. He's really pissed that he didn't kill me. Oh, Evelyn, please kill him. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> So glad Master Yi slash Tarot combo doesn't feel as gross as it used to. I think these guys are just not executing it very well, to be honest. I remember there was like Janna top, you know, tactic as well. Remember that shit. Don't know what Camille's game plan was there. Yeah, it was always going to be the case where he's just going to queue when I ult, so not really much I can do. Unless he just queues prematurely, but he didn't, so I had to throw my ult at some point. There's Tarek ult. Mate, Tarek does not know when to ult, though. That's the thing. The combo is a- Oh! Repeater place. Go on, get the triple. Oh, fresh, because just get the kill. The combo isn't so much about the Yi player, it's about the Tarek player's ult. You know what I mean? I remember when Pantheon support was like really broken as well before they nerfed it. His E used to be able to like block turret shots. It was so broken support. If you had like Samira, it was ridiculous. Hey, this is rapid! I'd give the model a nine. I really like the model. Everything else kind of blends in with the base skin. It's very similar to the champ original concept. So it's not trying to do anything different. So it's one of them where like, you know, if you if you want a skin that does something different for the champion, then I wouldn't really recommend buying this, to be honest, because 
it's not that different. I think the concept's cool, but yeah, I mean, it, it, it's the thing is, it's not meant to be a um, it's not meant to be a legendary skin, is it? Because it's a mythic skin, but. The splash art, by the way, 10 out of 10. I love the splash art. It's literally my profile. It's everything. I love the splash art. I've made it my icon. It's sick. I like the color of this one way, way more. It's a bit different, isn't it? Like I said, the chroma kind of reminds me of Championship, whereas like this is kind of like on its own. I think the W looks better. You know what I mean? And then look at the bow when it goes into the Q as well. Yeah, I think I've decided that I do prefer the base one to the chroma. Thank you.